Yeah, I was really young when I came here um, with my sister and my mom, so I didn't really know, like, um, I don't know how to explain it, kind of like ref what a refugee was. I just know that we had to move to a different country and live with people, like strangers that we didn't even know, and that's all I could remember from there. It might be hard in the beginning, but just appreciate your parents because they're working hard out here and it's, re it's really, it's a big struggle, especially when you're older because it's hard finding a job and speaking English and having people um, like getting hate against you. Like people don't know that I'm a refugee, which like I do tell sometimes, but I don't. But I look at videos and I see like, oh, they're just going to bomb our country. Oh, they're just going to do this and that. And I just, it just gets better afterwards, like going to school, doing sports, making friends. It's all, it's all good. Um, my dad told me a few stories on it, but I was really younger. I know that he left all of my, his family behind, and he just moved with, we first we moved to the Middle East with, it was my mom and my dad, and then my dad separated, and then me and my sister were born there for a while, and it was hard coming here, but we had family, or we called them our sponsors, but it was family friends helping us, which was very helpful, and I really appreciate them being there. It impacted my mom and dad pretty hard because they had to leave their family behind and we had to also leave my oldest brother behind because if they found him, I guess they would have take, taken him and he would have became a child soldier, which he didn't. He'd stayed up with my grandma and my mom and dad left and departed and had me and my sister and I in the Middle East and then my dad came back. Um, with us and we finally moved to America by these sponsors that we have that are really close family friends that I really appreciate because they were there through hard times and also helped my brother come because he didn't come until a couple years after we came. Um, the Lewis family it was Jack and Cheryl. They were really helpful when we came here. It, um, they helped. First it was my mom, my sister and I that came here and they helped us through the process and everything. And then my dad came and they helped them become citizens and they lived in their, we lived in their home for a little while and they helped us get an apartment. But we couldn't get my brother over to Spokane. So we had to wait a few years and then they finally brought him over and they had to do a bunch of DNA testing and it was really hard for them to do that. And that's why um, we like just love them so much because all the support and help they gave us from when we were from a couple years ago to, to now still. I started sports in like the seventh grade and I was always so shy and quiet and I wouldn't talk to anybody. But then they helped me grow as a person and be more louder and um, more of a leader too. And I'm really gonna miss like high school days just doing that and hanging out with them. But I'm ready for a bigger journey with my other volleyball team. Be proud of where you came from because I never really told people I was a refugee until my probably sophomore or junior year of high school because I didn't really want anyone to know and that it'll get better and this is a great place to experience and live here.